Hey, all my English 018 students. I just wanted to show you the next step that you're going to be responsible for doing in the writing process for our cause or effect paragraph. So I did send the beginning of the week. Um, this is my example. My topic sentence is at the top of the graphic organizer, which you are supposed to have emailed to me. I have my effects I'm discussing and the details that I want to incorporate. So the next step is our drafting. And I just want to show you how I started. So I start with my topic sentence. And then I have one sentence here that is an introduction to the first effect. This is a sentence that stands alone. And then I elaborate on this sentence with these details. So if we go back, I have all of this as elaboration on the first effect. Once I do that, then I need a sentence that's transition that discusses my second effect. Now I got these effects from my second brainstorming. So I brainstormed once to get my possible topics. I pick a topic, I brainstorm a second time, and I come up with groupings. We call them categories. And then I figured out I want to do them in this order. So I have the second effect, and I have a sentence here that's the second effect. And then I'm just in the middle of writing, so I have family. And I'm talking about relationships, because if you go back and look at my graphic organizer, family disputes and friends jealousy are my two minor details I want to discuss under this major. And then once I do that, I'll have a standalone sentence that talks about my third, and then sentences here. And then my last sentence is one of those strategies that we talked about before a while ago for concluding sentences. I'm going to pick one that fits and write it so that ultimately I will have a rough draft. Your rough draft that you needed to either take a picture of or scan and send me to show me that you did it, your rough draft is due either Monday or Tuesday, depending on the day of the week your class is. So either the 6th or the 7th. Okay, your rough draft is due. Don't forget, okay, this weekend you should have the uh, patterns of organization, my skills lab model com module complete. I know that there's issues with the my skills lab. Do the best that you can. Make sure you are not using Internet Explorer. Try Gr Chrome. Try Firefox. They work better. Um, I will email you on Sundays or Mondays with your assignments for those days. And then I will do, um, in those emails, I will have links to these YouTube videos to watch. I have two sets of office hours a week. Nobody came on Wednesday. And I had two show up today. They are not mandatory, but they're a great place to make sure that you're on the right track. You just jump in, ask your question, and you can be done. I will be posting those under announcements on Blackboard every week so you can keep track of when they are. The one on Friday will always be the same time, but I will rotate the other days and the other times. If there is an assignment due, it comes to me by an email from you with either a picture or a scan of the assignment. And please make sure you are typing what the assignment is in the subject bar because as you can imagine I'm getting lots and lots and lots and lots of emails so if it's a submission of you know the let's say the graphic organizer then please write graphic organizer submission or if it's the rough draft please write rough draft submission that way I know and I can keep track um, I've tried to update grades please double check make sure I haven't missed them I will be updating the rest of the patterns of organization um, probably tomorrow. So if you haven't finished that, try to get that done.
And then your verb tense active voice is due Monday or Tuesday of next week. Next week, we're going to be talking about your final draft and moving into our last two big writing assignments, the summary response and the argument essay. Okay. So if you have questions, you can email me. Otherwise, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon.